Hello guys, today is my new video. This time I'm not gonna review any model from Steel Dive, but instead I'm gonna modify it. I know there are many people who don't like such things, but let's see, maybe it's gonna be useful for someone who does it. So I take here 1970 Steel Dive, the Captain Willard with NH35 movement. As you see the dial is here pretty similar, just this one more white, this one a bit yellow. Let's see if it's gonna match or not, I'm gonna leave the original hands. Also if, if this one doesn't match, I have a couple of other options here. Like I've got different dials, let's see which one gonna match the best. In this video I'm gonna make it short. I'm gonna skip not necessary parts like this one I'm talking right now, so I'm gonna open the watch. I think this is necessary part for most of people. I use this tool for opening the case, very simple, very cheap, and use a scotch tape to protect from scratches. Okay, all done, it's very easy to open it takes literally three seconds but it doesn't okay yep I open it I have a standard set of the instruments tools from AliExpress and by the way these dials I showed you also from AliExpress so I'm gonna do now take the gasket out Probably most of you who is watching this video now, you modify the watch before, so you know the steps. For those who don't know, I'm gonna show you very, very basic. So, how do we remove the crown? First of all, we need to unscrew the crown and make sure it's not pulled out. Then. Here you may see this tiny part, there is a dot in it. You have to press this part and after pressing, folding and pulling the crown out of the case. I do it by two hands, simply pushing this small part and by nail I pull the crown out. Simple as that. Okay, the next step. The next step is to pull out the movement from the case, which is also easy. I use this flat screwdriver, just put it here where the movement go inside and just pop it out. Super easy. Then I don't have any stand for the movement, so I use this clothes for cleaning watches. And basically just flip it over on the clothes. Make sure it doesn't touch the balance wheel, so this the rotor is on the side of balance wheel. Then I put it down. I've done this many many times, so I think it's kind of safe. It won't be damaged or whatever. Next, I'm gonna check if this dial will look nice or not. So basically I take the dial and put the case over it. Mm, I think it should be fine. Also, I can check different different color. I've done this one before. With different hands, with golden hands, it looks really beautiful. Maybe you're gonna attach the picture of the mode I made before. Okay, so right now I'm gonna make the black one. Next step. We have to put the crown back in order to remove all the hands. Very gently you try to turn it a bit to find the right position. Now the crown is back in. We stop the time, put it in second position, and just in the time, I prefer to do it after midnight, right here. 
and waiting for the second hand to align with these two. But I don't want it to be really straight because when I remove the hands, usually it touches each other and kind of make the hands dirty. Then I use this little thing, I cut it to protect the dial from scratches. I won't be really using this dial again, but maybe maybe somebody need it. And I just put my hand on this dial and now the indicators are very dirty, need to clean it. So keep the advice, just keep the things that you're gonna modify far from you. Next, I'm gonna use this tool. Put it under the hands and evenly from both sides gonna lift it up yep done now I keep the hands here next I have to remove the dial for this. You can see here a bit of space for, I'm not sure you can see here. Put your screwdriver here and just lift the dial gently and from another side you're gonna have the same spot. Do the same from another side and it's done. Very easy. Next, usually, usually the dials from AliExpress, they don't have the same pins on the bottom, on the side. So you have to check if it matches. If the pin from here matches with this side. And I see that it doesn't match. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut it out. I don't need these pins. And instead I'm gonna use the small uh, double side scotch tape. Gonna skip this part. Okay, I already cut the pins from the new dial, as you see. Next, I have to place. I have to place this double side scotch tape around there, around the movement. Really easy to do. If you are not an alcoholic and your hands not shaking, then you should be able to easily just put one piece, remove the paper, make it nicely around, and next one. I prefer doing it from four sides for better security. Just like that. Try not to touch the date wheel. You don't want to glue it. I find this sticker is very useful. Here you go. Now I'm gonna Now 
Now I'm gonna check the date window was here on 20. You're right, nope, it was on 26. And I will try to put the new dial exactly where the old dial was. This might be kind of tricky, that's that's the disadvantage of using this, the scotch tape. But when you do it a couple of times, you'll get used to it and do it pretty right from the first try. So. I'm gonna move it out from the camera to better to be able better see it. And that's it. I'm done. And you can see that it looks pretty nice. Straight. One more thing that I what I like about these Chinese dials from AliExpress is that they are very durable. They're not like some expensive dials also from Aliexpress. I had a couple like for $40. They look really good, yeah, they look better. But if you touch it even once accidentally, just one touch, and you can throw it away because you cannot clean it. But this one, I put whole hand on it. And it had, it had big giant, fat fingerprint, but I just simply clean it by the cotton, very easy. And now it looks like brand new, no problems. Next, you have to set the time exactly on the midnight so that you can see where you put your hands. Now you can see the date started to change and do it very, very slowly. Done. Yep. Next, I'm gonna use the tweezers. and put it a little bit ahead of 12, just a little bit. Later you will see why. And use this tool also from the standard set. I'm gonna move it away from camera because the phone is too low. Yeah, done. As you see, it's not straight, it's a little bit past 12, but that's exactly what I wanted to do. And one suggestion, the first time don't push it all the way down, because you want to check if you made it right. Yeah, then you scroll the 24 hours, and let's see the moment, if it changes exactly on 12. As you see, it was exactly on 12. Good. It's straight already, but I prefer to do it. So right now I push it all the way in because now I'm sure it's straight and it's nice. Done. Then you just, what, what I do, I basically look from the side if it's too high or too low and then correct like gently. Then I move it to 6 o'clock, check from the side, okay, very straight, nice, 9 o'clock, check, straight, 12 o'clock, perfect. Next stage, next we put on 12 o'clock, and I'm gonna set the next hand, the minutes hand. Cat poor, be careful, don't let your cat play around. Yep, this time you can make it exactly 12. 
and use another tool for pushing the hand. This time the diameter of this tool is a bit smaller, so it's suitable for the minute hand. And again, the first time I push it not too hard, just a little bit, place the hand and to check if it's aligned correctly. Then I look from the sides, all good. Look straight, right? Yep. And nine, look straight. And the moment. A little bit, but it's fine. I just try to make it precisely 12. Okay. All look great. So right now I can push all the way in to secure the hand. Okay. I have done and now you can check from this side. You can see that both hands are pretty straight, not perfect, but it's more than enough. It's not gonna touch any part of the dial or other hands. And by looking from the side, from like from this perspective, you won't see anything. Okay, actually it's kind of perfect. Okay, next I'm gonna put the second hand. Okay, let's change the time. Okay, done. And it's time to put the second hand. A lot, a lot of people struggle in this putting this hand, but I find it really easy. I don't know why they struggle. What I do, I take another tool, can be anything round with the round pin. Then I take tweezers, and at the same time, when I place the hand, first I make sure, first I make sure it's in the center. For that purpose, I usually use um, zoom on my phone, but this time I'm using phone for recording this video, so I cannot check it carefully. What well, looks like it's in, then just pushing it down. Gently, don't try to break it. You may ask how much you have to press it down, how hard. Well, press it hard enough to put it in and not to break it. That's the answer. The rest comes with experience. And then you check it from the side. As you can see, it looks good. And what I do next, I check it on all four positions, 3, 6, 9 and 12 o'clock, if it's aligned correctly, if the second hand doesn't touch the hour hand. Okay, you may see from the side, it's a straight line, perfect. Next I may check here. Let's wait. And from this side, it's a also straight line. Very nice. And I'm sure that from from three and six gonna be the same. Just just to show you in the video, I'm gonna do it again. Okay, and three. It's a perfect straight line. So we're done. Now kind of tricky part. I had to remove the crown again. And I don't have any stand for the movement, so it's kind of tricky for me. What I do, I hold by one, my left hand. And I place this small pin on that point I showed you earlier here. Press it against the table. Use your feelings and pull it out. Done. 
well this kind of comes with experience so you just have to try have to break many watches no I'm kidding try not to break anything but it happens from out of 50 molds I think I broke two or three yeah now it's all done basically done I use this to clean all the dust clean all the dust and pour whatever it can be on it but yeah I see small dust there and it doesn't come up from just blowing you have to touch it first and then blow okay now it's all clean clean nice and ready for ready to assemble the same thing I do with the case just try to clean it from inside a bit I'm sure it's clean but still want to do one more time to make sure and I noticed some dust under minute hand where I cannot reach so then I can use this piece of paper from the dial it came in this paper it's very thin it won't scratch the dial and as I told you earlier Chinese dials are very um, durable resistant to any damage I can put it in the washing machine and it's gonna be like new after cleaning okay now it's ready for assembly what I do I just put it simply put it over looks good isn't it now what I do flip it over I try to align where the crown will get in the movement now look straight and what I do next I use any tools to push the movement from both sides from both sides directly in very slowly still can correct okay all done now I put back the crown very gently yeah found can lock it and look what we got straight or not yep pretty nice date win window is also straight the number just in the center nice as you can see let me zoom it in for you a bit as you can see it's very clean no dust in there what is left is just to adjust adjust the balance wheel unfortunately I cannot show you how I do it but there are many tutorials on YouTube because I'm using my phone some app for adjusting the wheel it's pretty easy to do and it gets not super accurate but plus one two seconds a day which I think is very good result already so after this I'm gonna adjust it put the back cover back then um, seal it properly and it's all done so now you can see the final result as you see it's pretty nice the indicator is enhanced not the same color but I think it's match perfectly because of the rim the bezel marker is also white looks good 
and the date window now is aligned correctly again. And by the way, I'm gonna show you the loom in just in a few seconds. So I keep this watch right now like 10-15 seconds in the straight sunlight and then go inside you will see how bright this dial is actually is. Okay, and right now I'm under the table, it's not very dark here, but you can see it's very bright. And I think it's kind of as bright as the original steel dive dial.